Biology 210. This is Joy Colley. We're going to take a quick look at the osteon models in the lab. So this is a section of compact bone. It represents one osteon. Osteon is made up of a series of rings. We see sort of the lighter and darker yellow rings. Those are the lamellae. If we zoom in, we can see individual holes. Those cavities are lacunae. We're going to fill those cavities with living cells. Those are the osteocytes. In fact, on the side of this model, we can see osteocytes. Those have their own nucleus. Osteocyte with a nucleus, osteocyte with a nucleus. The in, a very middle of this diagram is the central canal, also known as the haversion canal. It contains blood vessels and nerves. In order to get blood to the osteocytes within the lacunae, we have these little eyelash structures. Those are called canaliculi, and they are small gaps or fissures that are going to perfuse the blood out to the individual living cells. So this is a model of one osteon. We then compare that to the second model where we have a series of osteons. So here we have a bunch of them. That's one osteon. That's an osteon. Here are two osteons connected. Here's an osteon kind of pyramided up. Here's another osteon. So this is a bunch of osteons, but we see individual central canal that's blood vessel central canal runs parallel so up and down to the bone those are also known as haversion canals we also have bone uh, excuse me blood vessels canals that run perpendicular those are perforating or Volksmann, Volkmann's canals okay. on the outside of this bone we have the periosteum that's membrane it's blue and it's connected to the bone by these little sharpies fibers connection on the inside of the bone, we have this pink material. That is the end osteum, the membrane on the inside of the bone. And if we look closely at one of these individual osteons, you'll see the rings. Those are lamellae. You'll see the individual cavities where we're going to put our living cells. Those are the lacunae. So this is a chunk of compact bone.